Well hello folks and good morning, welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going out to find out whether I can ride just under 150 miles on my hybrid. Here it is right behind me, let's take a look. So this is my uh, Rue P17 hybrid, uh, oh, there we go, Foray 17. It's my commuter bike, I use this uh, Monday to Friday to from work, 10 miles each way, well, just under. Uh, rack on the back it's got one of these slider things as well so i'll put two peak uh, bag on there ready with lights today as well kind of expecting a full day of riding so everything else i usually have on the bike is pretty much the same i'm like wahoo got a phone thing here never use it light of course my bag of tricks but, but of course i've had to bring along some power today as well if you're a regular viewer of my channel you're probably asking why am i on a hybrid today well, uh, the cranks on my road bike making lots of noise, so I'm going to be taking that bike into in for some repair this week. And the weather is glorious, I didn't want to miss out, and I've always wanted to do a 200 kilometer ride on this bike. So I thought, what the hell, weather's good, let's get out there and do it. So when I say the weather's good, what I mean is it's, it's dry, it's been raining overnight, but uh, this first uh, ride out, this first leg of the ride is into a fresh to moderate breeze so it's been quite difficult and it's all been on a well usually busy a road but it'll be a sunday it's really quiet this morning so uh just going to get down to the uh, fledborough viaduct in uh, nottinghamshire and go along uh, the ncn64 into lincoln let's get moving shall we so the pantry 8020 is a good 11 miles away so you might be wondering why I started the, today's ride just there and that's because today I'm on a 200 kilometre Audax DIY so I've designed the route all myself I'm going to be heading to Boston in South Lincolnshire turning around, coming back, back the same way again so that's the uh, 647 byway over there which signposted for Clumber Park but it's clearly a bit off road and perhaps uh, might be able to get down there on a hybrid but uh, certainly not this time of year, I think it's more mountain bike territory so yeah maybe I'll give that going one day as for where I am right now I'm on the uh, top of the Fledber viaduct it's the bridge just there over that way is the viaduct that leads straight into Lincoln which is where I'm going to be going right now but it's a quick break because I, I'm a little bit hungry so I'm going to have a cereal bar and enjoy that uh, distance wise, let's, let's have a look. I've cut travelled now uh, from the start 48 kilometres and it's been really, really tough. Headwind all the way. Now, as you see, that's where I am right now. That goes to Clumber Park through Tuxford. And I'm going to be following 64 all the way through Lincoln and joining the Lincoln Waterway uh, all the way to Boston. So once I get down onto the cycle path there'll be a lovely tailwind take me all the way to Lincoln I think I've earned it it's a little bit muddy just coming into the edge of Lincoln now just on the road are the villages of Skellingthorpe and Jerusalem <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be able to say probably Jerusalem I've been able to get a nice tailwind all the way along here it's been brilliant I started to pick up the pace because it's quite, it's quite low look at it now 20.2 kilometer average down to 20.6 here yeah. Partly, yes, it is heavier bike. Yes, it's up right, so straight into the wind. But three, mainly, it is that wind. There's lots of it today. Hoping that dies down later on this afternoon. It's been a little bit windy. Making my way alongside the river Brayford inclined to say cloud over a little bit now still wonderful March early spring day just heading 
down the Lincoln Waterway. I can see uh, the Eastern Bypass being built just ahead of me. Moment the truth of whether I can actually get underneath it or not. I've seen people biking and walking around, so fingers crossed it's business as usual. So far, so good. A little bit muddy down the right hand side here because the water is literally just over there. Here we go, as you can see, it's no longer flooded. And I don't think they finish all these works until the summertime. Late summer, I think, July, something like that. So I'm going to take this little opportunity to tell you about an event I was at yesterday. It was the onboard transcontinental race at Healy Institute in Sheffield. Um, we've got to watch an hour long film about this history, not so much history, but uh, the riders of past attempts at the CCR, how their experiences and stories from the beginning to the end. Really interesting. And following that, there was a Q&A with past riders and the uh, race director herself, Anna. All in all, it's a pretty good event, actually. Uh, it's been there for about two and a half hours. Quite informative, actually. Really enjoyed it. There was an event going on elsewhere in the country. Highly recommend you go. Less than five miles away from Bardney now. I'm going to stop there. Probably at the Heritage Centre, because the food was really nice. Uh, have a full English, I think. I don't know how well you can tell. But uh, look at those trees moving. It's gusty, eh? Promised a tailwind on the return home. I was not expecting to be as windy as this today. Not nice. Just left the Badly Heritage Centre. It's five pounds. Full English, really, really nice. A little bit extra for coffee. And uh, glad I dived in there because the winds, the strength of the wind got, got really, really, really bad. Just hoping it drops a little bit now. Got 139k to go, 82 down. I looked on XC weather as I left the heritage centre. Which is a forecast, well, wind forecast website. That's all it does. And it looks like it's going to be coming from south southwest, which is a great direction for me. It can only be one better than that and be south south easterly. But any sort of south southerly component for the wind direction is a bonus. It's not far from Boston now. I'm going to be back on the waterway soon. I've just got to go past Holland. Fair enough, I think it is. Uh, we join the waterway at somewhere, I think it's, I think it's at Landrick Bridge. Pop there called the Witham and Blues. So I've just got to get that, it's not far up here. But it's hard slog right into the wind, which is uh, positive because it means when I turn around, I'll have a tailwind. So, yes, happy days. Absolutely insanely flat. And when the wind is against you, you don't half know it. And of course the opposite is true when it's behind you. Hardly pedaling, just cruising along at 25k now. So I'm just uh, using this as a bit of recovery time. Yes, final section of off-road into Boston now. So take me straight into, uh, it's called the marketplace, the bridge, old Boston. And then I'll get there, turn around and come back. If there's a shop nearby, I might just grab a drink actually because I'm uh, running low on juice. More scenery to look at, long cycleway. Nearly into the centre of Boston now. There is the stump right in front of me. Here I am, Boston. Finally got here. Got to love an unplanned uh, coffee stop. So I've just stopped here at the, uh, the Boston Lock Cafe, right at the end of the 
linking to Boston Waterway and today is absolutely stunning. Look at that sky, that's so beautiful today. Couldn't ask for better in March. So yeah, I'm just enjoying a nice cup of Stokes coffee. As always, I'll post the link to this route in the description below the, this video if you want to check it out. Link to Boston Waterway, it's really, really popular. Uh, very popular in the summertime, lots of people walking, dogs, riding bikes. Uh, it's fantastic, but it's really nice. So, on my way out of Boston, back north. So, pretty much bottom ish of the county to the top ish. It took me about five hours, it's about 120k. Um, I'm hoping the wind is now going to be uh, in my favour, battling it all day. Fingers crossed. Just making my way through the Lincolnshire Fens in Holland Fen, and I've seen no benefit of the tailwind whatsoever this evening, this afternoon. Nothing at all. <laughs> About to turn right though. I'm going north, north, east at the moment. North, north, west, sorry. And I'm going to be swinging to a north, north, east. So how, I should have a little bit of tailwind for a short period of time. But it's so it's what it's been like all day. Short periods of time. So all in all, I set myself a tough challenge today on this bike and it has turned out to be a quiet challenge back at Kirkstead Bridge now just outside Woodall Spa and there's a garage in here garage here so I'm just going to dip in buy a can of coke and it'll be a little bit of an energy boost really it's been hell of hard work today Nice pig meal. Well deserved coat. See you at Woodall Spa. It might be my imagination, but I think I've noticed that the wind's dropped a little bit. Hopefully that's the case. In case anybody's interested, this week I bought uh, an SSD drive from my Mac. Uh, I initially bought it because my hard drive was messing about dead slow. I thought it was going to crash or something. So, I should hopefully speed up my video editing because sometimes it takes, a, it takes quite a while to get around to do. And obviously, as much as I enjoy it, anything which can help it make it a little bit more pleasant is uh, hopefully going to help. So, yeah, I'll get that fitted either tomorrow evening or Tuesday. Look forward to super speedy computer again. Glorious March evening. Wind is still a bit of a killer, a bit of a kicker. I bought myself a couple of chocolate bars and a bit of a pick me up later on. Off something. The other side of Lincoln, I want to get down to the bottom of the viaduct. May well be uh, dark by then. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there to be honest. Maybe about 40 minutes. Don't quite think uh, it's going to be dark in 40 minutes. I don't know, but it's, uh, sometimes it creeps on you really suddenly, doesn't it? Today has been a fun day on the bike. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you're looking somewhere different to go, why not to visit this part of Lincoln in summer or whenever you want? is a great place to ride your bike no matter what bike you might own nice and safe route into Lincoln it's nine miles long so for many people that's a nice pleasurable ride well wonderful evening I'm really back in Lincoln now you probably won't be able to see it but I can see it uh, see the cathedral on the horizon, very clear day. As 
as I head through Lincoln onto the NCN 64 getting towards the end of the day end of the daylight anyway which often for me means time to say goodbye well, I've got about another 20 minutes of light to go so uh, let's make good use of it it's not been too busy t this route today with people walking and things bit of surprise for everybody be out today but uh, just in the timing I guess As always, hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions regarding this route or the uh, transcontinental race, if there's anything you want to know about it, if I know the answer, you know, pop the question below the video and I'll have a go answer it. it. The familiar sight of the NCN 64, which will take me back into Nottinghamshire. And from there, heading straight north, back into North Lincolnshire. Um, guessing somewhere between half seven and eight, I think, I think I'll be done. Now when it comes to the actual uh, Audax DIY, I believe it's 13 and a half hours. So I've got till half eight to finish this. No, half nine even. 13 and a half, start at 8 o'clock this morning. So, bar any major disasters, should be okay. Just coming up to the viaduct now, not too much further up here. And I wanna, and when I do get to the end, the rear light is on. And on that benign note, I'm gonna leave you here. Hope you have a good week and I shall see you in the next video, whatever that might be. Take care. See you later. Ta-da.